Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, starting wattage and running wattage of a generator. Uh, this generator that you're looking at right now, I purchased from Home Depot, it's a champion. I did uh, quite a few amount of research and uh, for me, I believe this is the best generator that I can use for my house. But you know, later on, I'm going to do another video explaining you know, the unboxing of it and I'm going to connect it to my um, electric inlet and run the house on it and show you what things will work and what won't work. So basically, you know, I'm going to show you over here on the diagram here it shows you a uh, starting wattage which is 10,000 and running is 8,000 so what does that mean well certain items like a refrigerator it to initially start it it needs more wattage than to run it afterwards so the initial you know one or two seconds that you, to turn it on it'll take more energy than to run it so that's why like sometimes you turn on an air conditioner or something you'll see the lights dim a little bit because it's drawing quite a bit of uh, electricity and over here is basically the um, what the energy use of certain wattage, uh, certain items are. Like here, for example, to start a refrigerator, it takes about 2,200 watts, and to run it after that, it's about 700 wattage. So you gotta be mindful when you're running this generator, you know, if you have, I don't know, say, a couple of ref refrigerators, they can run, but as long as they're not all starting at the same time, because then they're gonna draw that huge amount of energy and the generator may not be able to handle it and then here on the right hand side you'll see like a microwave it takes a thousand watts to run it you know and there's no starting because as soon as you turn the microwave on it's just running on the same uh, basically um, wattage so that's basically it about a uh, starting wattage and running wattage and then um, I'm gonna do another video I'm gonna show you right here I have something called an interlock system that's to run my circuit panels if there's a power outage and the reason I like uh, an interlock better than a transfer switch is because I can run the whole house on a tra uh, interlock versus a transfer switch where I can run maybe six to eight circuits. So just you know, look forward to that. And uh, if you have any other any questions, just please uh, you know email me. And uh, that's about it. Thank you.